So one question I get a lot here on the YouTube channel is how to keep your AdSense account in good standing. And the way you can do that is actually detailed by Google in one of their help pages. So all you do is go to Google and type in AdSense. Wow, I can spell AdSense, AdSense, not Gary Sinise. Okay, AdSense account in good standing. There you go. I just typed it in a few minutes ago. If you click this or just type it in, AdSense account in good standing. There we go. It's the first link. Okay, so I'll go through that here. Now, um, here's what you do. Google doesn't want you to click your own ads because obviously that's a conflict of interest. It's a bad idea because it's fraudulent. The good thing is Google's pretty smart about knowing if you're the one that clicked your ads. If you look right here, I accidentally clicked on my own ads. Will this cause a problem for my account? And the answer is you're not permitted to click your ads for any reason, but they do understand that accidental clicks occur. So if it happens once in a while, they can detect that and make sure that it they know it's you and, oh, well, he probably did an accident. If there's a lot of clicks going on, like you're using a, a bot program, on your computer, they will d disallow that. They will cancel your AdSense account. You're done. Don't click your own ads, whatever you do. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. Um, that's that's something you to, to watch out for. So um, here's a couple other things. Th there's some great stuff here about how to keep your account safe. Uh, I expect a significant increase in my traffic. Do I need to report it? They're not going to they're not going to penalize you. So they, they have some really good answers here. Um, but one thing I wanted to add to what they tell you is don't click your ads, don't click your ads. It's great to tell people don't click your ads, but how to not click your ads when you're on your site, you're working on it all the time. Good luck, right? So what I actually do is I can go to my own site here. And what I do is when I'm not working on my site, see here there's ads right here so there's the adsense ads i don't want to click on my own ads so what i do is i come up here to my toolbar and here's adblock plus now adblock plus can block a lot of ads uh, for people like on youtube like myself that we make money from you guys seeing ads on youtube so that's not good on youtube but on your own site this is really helpful you can actually turn it on d disabled i'll turn it to enabled on this site AdSense or Ad AdBlock Plus is the name of this plugin. You can get it for Chrome or Firefox, or I think there might be something for Safari you can get. I'm not sure. Uh, so I can click refresh, and as you see, all of the ads disappear because it's blocking the ads. So that way, when I'm working on my site, I won't accidentally click any of the ads. These are all my courses here. So these aren't ads. These are actually things that I put there because I teach on Udemy. Um, so those are mine and those are not ads, but all the other ads are gone. So they're not here. They're not on the sidebar. They're not down below. Like I usually have it. There's my ugly mug. Uh, there's usually ads down here too. So when I'm working on my site, that way I will never click on them because they're actually hidden using AdBlock plus, uh, to install AdBlock plus, you can just type in AdBlock plus typing one handed here. And then, uh, there you go. Chrome. And you'll see this link here. Usually it's the first one. You'll see a rating. You'll see chrome.google.com, and then you'll see the store. So you can click here, and you'll see this pop up. It's already added for me, so it's there, but it'll say Add to Chrome right up here where this green button is. You click that, and it will add that to Chrome for you, and you can block ads. Uh, once again, it, it depends on what you want to do. You can block ads on YouTube. However, that doesn't help creators make any money. Uh, so uh, if you would leave that off on, on YouTube, that would be great, but it's a helpful tool to use on your own site when you don't want to click your ads and then you don't have to worry about it. So anyway, that's a quick tip for you. I'm going to turn this back on because I'm doing some testing and I want to make sure my ads show up. There we go. We got ads. We got ads. Okay. They're all showing up like they're supposed to scroll down to the bottom here. Uh, maybe I don't have any down there. Okay. So yeah, so those are the ads and that's how you get rid of them on your own site so you don't click them. That's very helpful. And then I would also look at this page and see kind of the other answers they have. You can check the URLs. Google has a lot of great help information. They've written a lot of it uh, to help you do AdSense correctly and not have trouble. So I would look through some of this stuff and then you can see what sabotage is. If somebody else is messing with your ads, uh, there's ways to tell and there's ways to get help from Google as well. So 
Anyway, a uh, quick tip for you. Just wanted to show you how to do that, and uh, hopefully that helps you. Um, let me know if you need help with this or other things. Uh, let me know what kind of videos you want me to make. I would love to make videos that help you out directly instead of just making random videos that I don't know if it actually helps anyone. Uh, I try to respond to all comments very quickly if I can, so please leave me a comment. I would love to hear what you think. And uh, until next time, have a good one.